Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're joining us, welcome. This is Simple Saturday, which means simple movements, but not a simple workout. So basic movements, um, not a lot of combination movements or anything like that. And, uh, but we're gonna still work hard. It's gonna start in about two minutes, I wanna say. Yep, about two minutes, we'll get started. Today, band or weights will work, okay? And or weights. And the stability ball is gonna be optional. You do not need it for any reason at all, but if you want it, the last exercise we do, we will add that in. Okay. I feel like I wanna change my, let me change this a little bit. There we go. All right, we'll get started in about one minute. About one minute, we'll get started. Need weights or a band, either one will work for today. And the stability ball is gonna be optional, but that's gonna be the very last thing that we use. If you don't wanna use it, you don't have to use it. Today is Simple Saturday, and that means we're doing simple movements, but it is not a simple workout. So, And it is going to be done well before 45 minutes. We have 21 minutes of hard work today. We got a warm up ahead of time, a cool down after, and uh, that's gonna be it. We'll get started here in about 30 seconds. Might wanna have your own music on at home. You can listen to the music I have here. I don't know how loud it is for you guys over the, you know, over the uh, airwaves. All right, clean up your space, get ready so we can do our warm up. Make sure you got room to move around. Stability ball won't be used until the last exercise, so you can set that aside for now. All right. Music playing. One, two, warm it up. Are we ready? Basic warm up. Arms at shoulder height, kick those heels up. I know, I know, I do the same warm up every time, but it warms up our whole body. I had a couple different things. Knees up, knees up, pull down. Turn your torso toward that knee. Good, pull back one more time. Keep those heels up toward that rear end. One more time, pull down with the knees up. Okay. 
shoulders, check your floor one more time. Start that jog. It is humid in Florida this morning. I'm going to have to start bringing a fan. This is round one. It is going to be a sumo burpee and a sumo squat. We just got to get through this, guys, because it's going to jack up our heart rate. It's going to keep it up throughout the entire thing. Here we go. So it's going to be a sumo burpee, which means sumo burpee is right here, stopping right here. and But then we're going to add in a squat, okay? And you're going to come back down, do two sumo burpees. And then you're gonna do two squats. And you're gonna do three sumo burpees, three squats. This is called a ladder. You're gonna go up. You got two minutes to get as high as you can. Two minutes to take that as high as you can. Don't worry about what I'm doing. Don't do my pace. You do your pace. Whether it's faster or slower, doesn't really matter. You choose for yourself. Count for yourself. One, one, two, two, three, three, all the way up for two minutes. Are we ready? We got two minutes on the clock. We got music going. Ready to rock and roll? gonna count us down. Oh, no it's not, sorry, here we go. <laughs> Got my new clock. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, start it up. Two minutes on the clock. Have a sumo burpee and a sumo squat. So if you got two, seven of each, 
You're gonna now start at seven of each and bring it all the way back down to one in two minutes, okay? Trust me, once we're past this, the rest of the day is golden, all right? We're starting off with the, with the hard stuff. 10 seconds, we're starting up. Remember, your option is to be a sumo, okay? A burpee, sumo burpee. And go, here we go. You have options. You can do your tricep extension up here. You can do it here, and you can do it up against the wall. Our regular, our triceps that we do against the wall, and then you're going to be doing that shuffle with the jab. All right. So it's going to be shuffle as far as you can with the jab. All right. That's what we're doing. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Then we get a rest. Then we're going to do it again, and then we're going to do it again. We got this three times in a row. So pick up some heavy weights for those biceps because that's the only thing you have to. Focus on simple Saturday. We have simple movements. Here we go. Get some heavy weights. Bicep curls is where we're starting. Then we're going to go into triceps immediately after. Are we ready? Okay. We got this. Starting it up. We're hot blooded, right? Three, two, one. Find you're rocking your body and it's too heavy with the weight. Five, 
I did, so I'm feeling it. It's good. Last time through. This is round two of five. There's five sets we're doing today. Ten seconds. We're starting those bicep curls. Even if you're doing a band, you can make it harder. Three, two, one. Here we go. If you're using that band, that butt is still tucked in. Those elbows are at your side. You're letting them open all the way up, all the way down. You're not stopping here. Bring it all the way down. If you need to make it harder, spread your legs further apart. That'll make the band tighter. You got five, four, three, two, one. Try step. If you don't know what an imam is, that means every minute on the minute, you're going to start again. But we're going to do it between two different exercises. We're going to be doing plank up-downs, okay? And then we're going to get up and we're going to be doing uh, knee smash with the hook. Let me just show you while I'm standing up. The knee smash with the hook is going to be right here, 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 here. So I got a knee smash and then hook. So it's opposite arm and leg. Knee smash, hook. Now that's something you don't like. We're gonna be doing this back and forth twice. So the first time around, you could just do alternating knee smashes if you wanted to, okay? And the second time around, you could do alternating hooks if you have troubles with balance or something like this. So otherwise, knee smash, hook. Second time around, other side, knee smash, hook. All right, we're doing each of these twice, that's it. Are you ready? Plank up, down, looks like this. You can do these on the wall as well. You can do them on your knees, you can do them on your toes. You're gonna to be in a plank position. You're gonna take it down and bring it back up. Down, bring it back up. All right, so the count is of each. You're gonna be doing eight, 12, or 16. Eight, 12, or 16 of each, okay? You may have to do less for the up-down planks, and maybe you could do more for the knees, mash, and the hooks. It's up to you. 8, 12, you have, you have right this first minute, up, down, planks only. 8, 12, or 16. Second minute, stand up, knees and hooks. 8, 12, or 16. Let me go back down, and then we come back up, and we're done with this. All right, here we go. Time on the clock. We got an imam. Reset, imam. It's going to count us down. Are you ready? We're going to start that timer. 10 second countdown. In five.
40 seconds. Okay, so you're going to be doing a deadlift. Go as heavy as you can on deadlifts. You're using the biggest muscles of your body, which is your glutes and your hamstrings are the primary muscles used in this. So go heavy. Okay, for you, whatever's heavy for you. And a deadlift, what it looks like is you're sticking that butt out. It's like there's a string coming out of the top of my head. So my head stays up, keeps my back flat, and I'm pushing my butt out. And then when I come up, I squeeze my butt at the end. I take it down and squeeze. I take it down, squeeze, all right? That's our deadlift. Then we're gonna be going into a lunge. You have options. You can do a one, one leg only, the same leg the whole time. You can do a reverse lunge or a forward lunge, okay? So if you're doing a reverse lunge right here, taking it back each time. You can do a forward lunge like normal, taking it forward each time, pushing yourself off, push off. You can do alternating, whichever way is comfortable for you because we're doing this twice. So even if you do one leg, you're going to get a chance to do the second leg the next time around. All right, let's stop this timer. And we're going to get this set up here. We have 40 seconds for each one of these. Oh, and I forgot to show you the, the cardio. Cardio is gonna be right here. You're gonna keep it crouched, okay, right here, and it's gonna be small hops. So, staying right here, core is tight. If you do not like hopping, you can do fast feet, or you can do big marches, okay? If you're doing big marches, get those knees up, and get those arms pumping. 
all of them are going to get your heart rate up, especially doing it for 40 seconds. So are we ready? <coughs> Excuse me, starting with the deadlift and seconds. Are we ready? Let's get ready. 10 seconds. Lisa, get ready. Carol, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Beatrice, go. Sweep that butt out. Keep that back flat. That core is tight. Push the butt back. Squeeze the butt at the top. Ah. 
Okay. I don't know how many other people work out outside in Florida like I do, but it is humid this morning. All right, this last exercise. Get my stability ball. If you want to use a stability ball, feel free. If you don't, this exact same thing could be done on the ground. Okay, so what we are doing is you're going to be doing a crunch, but we're doing it as a chipper, which means I'm going to count, and you're going to stay in the same count as I'm at, if you can, okay? And we are going to count down and do our crunches, okay? So we are going to go ahead and start at 20, and then we're going to work our way down. Actually, I think we're going to start at 25. Let's start at 25. And then we'll go to 20, then we go to 15, then we go to 10, then we go to 5. So if you're doing them on the ball, what I want you to think about is getting that ball to basically between your hips and your shoulder blades. You don't have to use a weight. Let me show you without a weight. Okay? You can just crunch it up and open. Crunch it up, open. Don't forget that opening at the end because that extends through the entire uh, ab then and up. Okay, if you're using a weight, right here, be careful when you're reaching up. Still got to open up, come down and open up. Okay, you can do all this on the floor as well. All right, so I'm going to count through from 25 down to zero or down to one. <coughs> then we get a short break and then we're going to count down from 20. And that's not for my music, so here we go. Are we ready? Get yourself ready. This is it for the day. We're done after this. So push all the way through. I'm going to start counting. you got to go with me. All right. In three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
like that. Good. We are going to do a standing stretch. All right. I am just drenched. <laughs> Wiping my face with my shirt is not, not making any difference. I can really wring it out. It's awesome. Okay. Standing stretch, big deep inhale right here. Keep those eyes open. All right, let's go ahead and take, actually, let's just do a big tall stretch. Get that, those abs stretched out a little bit. Keep your eyes open, reaching up. Keep breathing, don't tilt your head back. I don't need anybody passing out. Just reach up, eyes open, head up, keep breathing. All right, drop those arms. Another big deep inhale right here, eyes open. All right, left leg behind the right. Left arm up, here we go. Let's reach all the way across. Push those hips in the opposite direction. So I'm reaching way over, keeping that shoulder back so I can still see forward and I'm pushing my hips in the opposite direction. You should primarily feel the stretch from about mid torso down. You're gonna feel it through your lats, through your hips. It actually helps with that IT band that attaches down to uh, the knee area, which often causes knee and hip problems in people because we don't get that area stretched. So reach over. Again, I'm not a doctor. This is just what my physical therapist told me. And it's worked because I can actually bend my knees now, which I couldn't a couple, a little while ago. Okay, undo that. Take that right leg behind, right arm up. Reach across, push those hips in the opposite direction. Keep that shoulder back. Reach as far as you can. Really stretch that arm. Push those hips in the opposite direction. Keep breathing. Even if it's smaller breaths, keep breathing. Stretch. Keep it going. And release that. Uncross the feet. All right, now we're going to do something that's very similar, but it's definitely going to change where we feel. We're going to take our right hand on our left wrist. Reach it above the head. Arms are together. And now you're gonna pull that arm over. And now the stretch is gonna switch from about mid torso up the body. So you're gonna feel it in your lats, get through your armpit. You're gonna feel it through the back of your arm, which is your tricep. Push those hips in the opposite direction. Keep breathing and really spring it back up. Switch hands. Big deep inhale. Exhale, pull it over. Keep that shoulder back. Reach, push those hips the opposite way. Keep breathing. And bring it back up to center and release that. Okay, we are going to uh, take those arms, actually palms forward. And I want you to tuck your butt in, round out your back, pull those shoulder blades apart. So that butt's tucked in, you're pulling the shoulder blades apart, eyes are open, keep breathing, and release, stand up. Now those thumbs come together, palms come together I should say, thumbs are up. Now thumbs go out and you're going to press back. My neck stays in alignment, I'm not tilting my head, I'm not closing my eyes. Just press those arms back, all right, keep breathing. Press and release. Okay. We're going to do one more. Take your legs as wide as comfortable for you. Go ahead and reach forward. So here's what I'm doing. I'm just reaching forward, hinging at the hips. My head stays up. My back is flat. I'm just pushing my butt back. Keep it there. Core is up. All right, and bend the knees and come back up. All right, we're gonna do that again, but we're gonna go all the way to the ground. So make sure you're not feeling dizzy. And this time we're gonna bend, take it all the way down. And what I want you to do is I want you to come over on one side. You're gonna bend one leg. The other one's gonna be straight. I'm pushing my butt back. So I feel that stretch in that inner thigh. Push that butt back. We may have 
forgotten about those sumo burpees and sumo squats, but they target our inner thighs as well as you know our glutes and hamstrings. And switch sides, push that butt back, keep it pressed back, get that inner thigh. If you don't press your butt back, you don't feel the stretch. So really push your butt back. Shake it from the side, keep it there. You want to push that butt back so this knee stays back. Good. Bring it to center, both knees bent. Bring your feet in closer, come up slowly. Make sure you don't get dizzy. Right here, casual stance, big deep inhale, arms coming up. And exhale, take it down. One more time, big deep inhale. And exhale, shoulders relax. Your heart rate should be pretty much back to normal. If it's not, give yourself a little bit of time before you go and do anything, maybe do a little bit more stretching. That is our simple Saturday. So they were simple movements, no combo movements or anything, but it was hard. Hopefully it was hard, it was hard for me. So hopefully it was hard for you. And thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you livers, I always appreciate having livers here. Hope you have a great rest of your day, and I hope we see you on the YouTube channel, 360 Mind Body Fitness, all one word. I've got my vlog going there. I've got stretching. I've got meditation. And all these workouts are uploaded there, in addition to a couple of other extra workouts that I do just for the YouTube channel. So I would love to see you there. And otherwise, have a great day, everybody. Stay safe. Keep your distance. Send love out to everybody. And hopefully we'll see you again. Thanks again for coming. This is Barbara. Bye.